In 2020, we've seen an unprecedented number of disasters impacting just about every region of the country. As we wrap up this year, we look back on the disasters that had the greatest impacts, from historical hurricane and wildfire seasons to a crippling global pandemic. We'll review the top 10 disasters of 2020. Number four on our list of top 10 disasters of 2020 is this summer's devastating derecho, which slammed across Iowa and several other Midwestern states in early August. The derecho grew out of a complex of storms that moved rapidly across several states, leaving behind catastrophic damage. The system produced a cluster of severe thunderstorms and isolated tornadoes that severely impacted central Iowa with wind gusts equivalent to a Category 3 hurricane. The path of this derecho, I think at last estimate was somewhere around 750 miles long. And as you mentioned, some of the peak winds uh, measured gusts were in excess of 100 miles per hour. And based on some of the damage, uh, we're thinking winds over 120 to, to possibly as high as 140 miles per hour. Millions across the Midwest were impacted as high winds caused widespread power outages. This time-lapse power outage map shows the extent of the area impacted as the cluster of storms raced across several Midwest states. 1.4 million utility customers lost power at the height of the storm. I mean, could 2020 get any worse? The system also produced severe damage to Iowa's farming industry, both to structures and to crops. Losses to Iowa's corn crop alone were estimated over $3 billion. This is day three with no electricity in my house as a well. It's a well that can't run. I got a, I do have a generator. I just bought a Honda generator. Um, so I just run in my fridge and stuff like that, but uh, it's too complicated to get your well and all that running. The impacts to Iowa were widespread and long lasting. The state received a presidential disaster declaration the week following the storms for 16 of the hardest hit counties. In August, we spoke with Iowa's Director of Homeland Security and Emergency Management, Joyce Flynn. I can say that this is the most power outage we've had in a large part of the state. Um, that has gone on as long as it has. Significant ag damage, the likes of which we've never seen before. In episode eight of our Disaster Recovery Roundtable podcast series, Director Flynn recommended to others in the emergency management community to rethink how they exercise and respond to mass power outage events. We don't place enough emphasis in our preparedness training on long-term power outages. We look at preparing for three days and three days in this case was we needed two and a half times that much preparation. Overall, the derecho impacted five Midwestern states with high winds and isolated tornadoes causing an estimated seven and a half billion in damages. The highest wind speed measured 126 miles per hour. The system produced 25 tornadoes, nearly two million lost power after the storms, and Iowa's corn and soybean crops suffered over three billion in losses. The August derecho Number four on our list of top 10 disasters of 2020.